Good morning, all of you. Today we are going to see your third practical assignment, where we are going to investigate a tapered bar which is hanged at its bigger end. So let's first discuss the problem. So tapered bar will be like this. will have 150 lengths and if you are from Pillai College of Engineering the upper digit diameter will be your roll number let's say 50 and it will be a smaller section will have a diameter of 25 half of the year roll number now what are the properties we will require here? Young modular 200 to 3 kilo <coughs> newton per mu square mu 0.3 Here we'll, we require one more extra property which is density. Why? I will mentioning the reason the density let's say it is a 7000 rho is 7000 which will be in kg per meter cube so we have to convert this meter into mm for that it will be 7 into 10 is to 3 into minus from root to nine because uh, one meter is equal to ten raised to three mm. So here is power is raised to three mm cube. So it will be nine. As it is at the bottom, we will take it up and which will get converted into negative power. And this whole calculation will give us seven into ten raised to minus six. In today's problem, what we are going to see, we are going to see what will be the deflection of this bar because of its own weight. As I already mentioned, I will fix this so that it will be a overhang. So let's tell me what will be the boundary condition. Here x will be 0 and y will be 0. To account the body weight, we require density. That's why we have inputted here one extra property. If you compare this problem with your previous, in the previous example, we have ignored the self weight, but in current state, we will require self weight, and for that, we will calculate the weight from the volume from this cat from the cross section defined we will get the volume and if I am as you know mass of a volume is rho if I am multiplying this volume with the rho I will get the mass and to convert that mass into force I have to multiply it by 9.81 right so we will require one more extra para parameter or property or we can say or input parameter which will be a g acceleration due to gravity as you know, it is 9.82 meter per second square. Again, we have to convert that in mm. So it will be 9.81 into 10 to 3. So we have all the property we require. Now we will model. From your anxious window, as you, as we do always. Go to preference as it is a structural analysis. We will choose structural, click OK. After that, we will define the element which is beam element. Now, we have to define material property. Go to material model, choose structural, linear, elastic, and isotope. Your models will be 200. 
into thousand. So it will be <coughs> now thousand is very constant. Scroll down, you will find density here. And what was that? Seven into ten raised to minus six. Click OK. So it is not taking it. So now we can write this: one, two, three, four, five, seven. Okay. So we have defined material properties. Now we will define a section. Go to beam common section. Section one will be as I mentioned your roll number. In my case, I have considered my roll number as fifty. So fifty divided by two. Apply. And the smaller section will have a. Twenty five divided by two. Okay, okay. Now we have defined the common section. Now we require to define taper section. So let's click on taper section. Fix my location. I have given the name three. I will keep it as it is. You can give taper here for identification. One point will be at the top. So x will be zero, and bottom is at the one foot. So This will be minus one foot. As we are overhanging the beam in uh, on the y-axis, but in downward direction, so we have to make it minus one foot. And this should be here, not in x position. Click OK. <coughs> so, so I have created a beam. Now next thing is modeling. So let go to modeling. Create. We require two key point. One will be at origin. Second will be at minus one fifty. You have to make sure that you are inputting the section parameter equal to this point. You have to make sure that you have inputted minus one fifty here and the, in the section definition. Then only your section will be assigned properly. Click OK. Now you can see the key point. Now create a line. Okay. Now we have defined material properties section as well. Now we have to mesh it. In the mesh, we will first assign the section to the line element. For that, we can mesh to the thick lines. Click on this line. Click OK. Then we have changed the section to taper. Now go to mesh tool. Define the line element. Let's say ten. Number of division. OK. Call back your mesh tool and mesh it. It has been missed. Now to confirm whether we have defined a proper section or not, go to plot controls, styles, size and shape, and activities. So I have defined the section properly. Now apply boundary condition. Now let's go to loads, define loads, apply structure, displacement on key point. Choose the key point and the origin. Click OK and Fix all the positions. Now we have to add inner shape. For that, if you scroll down, you can see inner shape tab here. In the inner shape, we have to define gravity and load. Now here, make it zero. Zero and you are nine point eight one into ten to three. So I will simply multiply by thousand. Okay. Now we are ready to solve. Become solve. 
from current landscape. It will take some time. So it's a solution is done. Now we will see the results. So here we are not able to get the result, right? Because we have not chosen current loads. Now so let's go to view desert not set. Again go back to the now we will be able to see this. So because of its self rate, the beam is getting reflected by 0.02 M. Which is very low. And if you see this, it is obvious that because of the load, the point at the bottom will get dispersed. And if contrary, if we get the stresses, this point will have maximum stress. Now you can save this by doing right metaphor in no triangle so that the background will turn into white. Next thing we required is. We need to find out the reaction solution. For that, go to list with the reaction solution and simply click on one. So, this much is the reaction experienced at the node one, which is fixed. And we recall element table definition. For that, go to element table definition, define table, add by sequence. Less and comma one. Click OK. So we have defined the element table. From that we can retrieve stress values. This element. Table. Here you can see that stress is decreasing from node one to ten because under the each node the amount of load is getting decreases. So this is your third practical video or you can see that analysis of tape bar by its self. Thank you.